motion in a straight line. We see many objects moving around us. For example, cars, buses, bicycles, etc. moving on the streets, aeroplanes flying in the air, ships sailing on the sea, etc. In all these examples, objects change their positions with time along a straight line. This type of motion is rectilinear motion. After studying this learning module, we will be able to explain distance and displacement, average velocity and average speed, instantaneous velocity and speed, acceleration, kinematic equations for uniformly accelerated motion, motion in free fall and relative velocity. Frame of reference the position of a particle is located using a frame of reference. In the given figure, the point of intersection of the three axes X, Y and Z is the origin O and serves as the reference point. The coordinates X, Y and Z of an object describe the position of the object with respect to this coordinate system. If all the three coordinates x, y and z of the particle remain unchanged as time passes, we say that the particle is at rest with respect to this frame. If any one or more coordinates change with time, we say that the particle is moving with respect to this time frame. Rest and motion are relative. A person sitting in a moving train is at rest with respect to his fellow passengers, but is in motion with respect to the objects outside the train. This is the situation when an object in one situation can be at rest, but in another situation the same object is in motion. Hence, rest and motion are relative to each other. Distance. The actual length of the path travelled or covered by a moving body, irrespective of the direction, is the distance travelled by the body. The distance travelled by a body is denoted by S. Distance is a scalar quantity and its SI unit is meter. For example, if a person or moving body moves from A to B 1 km, B to C 1 km and then from C to D 1.5 km, then the total distance covered by the person is equal to AB plus BC plus CD equal to 1 km plus 1 km plus 1.5 km which is equal to 3.5 km. Displacement. The change in the position of a moving body in a particular direction is called its displacement. It is generally denoted by D or X. Consider a body moving in a particular direction along a straight line. Let it cover a distance X1 in time T1 and X2 in time T2 from the start. Then, the displacement during the time interval T2 minus T1 is displacement is equal to final position minus initial position or D is equal to X2 minus X1. Characteristics of displacement Displacement is a vector quantity. The displacement of a body is for a certain interval of time. The displacement of a body may have a positive, zero or a negative value. Position time graph. The motion of an object can be shown by the position time graph. Position is shown on y-axis whereas time is on x-axis. Position time graph of a stationary object is a straight line parallel to the time axis. When an object moving along a straight line covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, this is known as uniform motion along a straight line. Average velocity and average speed. Average velocity is the change in position or displacement of an object divided by the time intervals. 
if x1 and x2 are the positions of an object at times t1 and t2 respectively, then the average velocity v bar is equal to x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1, which is equal to delta x upon delta t. Average velocity is a vector quantity and its SI unit is meter per second. Average velocity can be positive or negative depending upon the sign of the displacement. It is zero if the displacement is zero. Average speed is the total path length travelled divided by the time required to travel that distance. The unit of average speed is meter per second or kilometer per hour. Instantaneous velocity and speed. Velocity at a particular instant of time is instantaneous velocity. That is, v is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta x upon delta t, which is equal to dx upon dt. Acceleration The acceleration of a body is the rate of change of velocity of the body with time. Therefore, acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time interval. Average acceleration alpha bar over a time interval is the change of velocity divided by the time interval. Therefore, alpha bar is equal to v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1, which is equal to delta v by delta t, where v2 and v1 are the instantaneous velocities at time t2 and t1 respectively. An acceleration of a body at some particular instant is the instantaneous acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration alpha is equal to limit delta t tends to zero delta v upon delta t which is equal to dv upon dt. SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square and it is a vector quantity. Kinematic equations for uniformly accelerated motion. Equation for velocity time relation. Consider an object moving with uniform acceleration A. Let u be its initial velocity at time t equal to 0, v its velocity after time t and s its displacement during this time interval. Therefore, acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon change in time, which is equal to velocity at b minus velocity at a upon time at b minus time at a, that equals v minus u upon t. Over v minus u equal to a t, therefore v is equal to u plus a t. Equation for position time relation. Let the distance travelled by an object is s in time t and acceleration is a. We can see that the distance travelled by the object is obtained by the enclosed area a, b, d, o. Therefore, the distance travelled s is equal to the area of trapezium a, b, d, o, which is equal to the area of the rectangle a, c, d, o plus the area of triangle a, b, c, which is equal to o, d into o, a plus half b, c into a, c equal to t into u plus half v minus u into t equal to u t plus half v minus u into t now from the first equation we know that v minus u is equal to a t equation for position velocity relation from the velocity time graph, the distance travelled s is equal to the area of the trapezium O A B D, which is equal to half B1 plus B2 into H, equal to half O A plus B D into A C. Substituting O A by U, B D by V and A C by T, we get s. S is equal to half V plus U into T. This is equation number 1. But we know that A is equal to V minus U by T. Or T is equal to V minus U by A. Substituting the value of T in equation 1, we get 
S is equal to half V plus U into V minus U by A. V square minus U square equal to 2AS. Motion in free fall. A freely falling object is falling under the sole influence of gravity only. Any object that is being acted upon only by the force of gravity is said to be in a state of free fall. Suppose that the motion of an object is in negative y direction, then in the case of free fall, u is equal to 0. Therefore, a is equal to minus g, which is equal to minus 9.8 meter per second square. Therefore, the first equation of motion becomes v is equal to 0 minus gt, which is equal to minus 9.8 t meter per second square. Second equation of motion becomes y is equal to 0 minus half gt square, which is equal to minus 4.9 t square meter. And similarly, the third equation of motion will be v square is equal to 0 minus 2gy, which is equal to minus 19.6y meter square per second square. Relative velocity. Two cars A and B are moving uniformly in one dimension. If the velocities of cars A is equal to VA and B is equal to VB respectively, then the relative velocities of car A with respect to B is equal to VA minus VB. Conversely, the velocity of car B relative to car A is VB minus VA. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. Distance is the actual length of the path traveled by a moving body. The change in the position of a moving body in a particular direction is called its displacement. The motion of an object can be shown by position time graph. Average velocity is the change in position or displacement of an object divided by the time intervals. Average speed is the total path length traveled divided by the time required to travel that distance. Velocity at a particular instant of time is instantaneous velocity. A freely falling object is falling under the sole influence of gravity.